Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So I get a lot of questions about my off-grid water system, what I'm using as far as a pump, uh, pressure tank, cisterns, the piping, all that. So I figured um, go ahead and do a video on it and let you see, let, excuse me, let you guys see what I'm doing off-grid. Now my pump here, this is completely ran by solar power. So uh, most of you know they've been watching this channel. We are completely off grid here. We are on solar power and rainwater catchment. Now, this water here is just for the house. We do not actually drink this water. The water that we drink, I buy in five gallon jugs, and that's what we drink. Um, really haven't uh, gotten brave enough yet to uh, drink the water that we catch running through gutters and stuff. So what I want to do is just tell you the system that I put in place after I did a lot of research on it and how it works for the entire house. Now, this water system that you see here, it has the pump. I got a external on-off switch, on-demand hot water, and of course, the pressure tank, the water in, the water out. So this right here is a Flowtech three-fourths horsepower pump. Now, when I did the research, because this draws 240, this is not on 120, this is 240. So when I first started doing research, I was really hesitant about this pump because they said that really solar wasn't going to be able to power this pump. Um, I have to tell you that that is not the case. The solar unit that I have and my battery bank, even at night, it will turn this pump on. And of course, this pump only runs long enough to fill up the pressure tank and then it shuts off. So it's not like it's running constantly. So right here is the Flowtech 3 4 horsepower water pump. And it's got the pressure gauge on top. Now when this pressure drops to about 25 PSI, it'll pump it back up. And it normally stays between 35 and 37 PSI is where it actually stays. So there is a check valve here which it's very important when you're doing these systems. I actually put in two check valves. I have one here and I have one on the inner pipe here to protect this pump. So it's very important that you have some kind of check valve on your system so you don't destroy your pump. So the water, this pump pumps the water through here and it comes into this pressure tank right here. This is a 20 gallon American water heater diaphragm pressure tank. Um, really didn't need to go bigger. This is fine for the entire house. And I can run the shower for 15 minutes before this pump will come on and want to put water back in here. And both of these were relatively expensive. I don't want to get into the pricing on them because it's going to vary where you're at. So the water goes in this pressure tank. Now from this pressure tank, it'll feed into the house but it also feeds into the on-demand gas hot water heater. So you got the inlet, the outlet, and of course the gas line. I'd, I had never used these before and I was kind of hesitant because I really didn't know how they were going to work as far as heating up water. And let me tell you what, you have to be careful with these things because these things will produce water that will burn your skin off. You really have to play around with it as far as the fire and the gas setting. And also when you're inside, you want to turn on the hot water and then mess around with the cold water until you get a certain temperature. Because these things, they produce hot water so fast. Like I said, when I first got this, I was kind of concerned that it wasn't going to produce a lot of hot water. And to my amazement, this thing heats up water a lot faster than electric water heater and costs a lot less to run. I filled up my gas tank twice this year, which cost me... $30 a time. So the gas tank provides for cooking and it provides for the hot water heater. So it costs us a total of $60 here in Belize to cook and to run our hot water heater this year, which is great if you ask me. $60 for the year is what it costs. So like I said, the water that's coming out here, oh, don't get confused. This is water coming off from the AC. I capture here to use for guard. So the water runs through here into the filter system and like i said we don't drink this water this is just for washing dishes taking a shower 
brushing our teeth, washing our face. We do not drink this water. I haven't got that brave enough yet. There's a lot of people that do. We just actually choose not to. So I'm going to show you now the other parts of the system and exactly how they work. All right, so this right here is the inline filter that I use. And like I said, because we don't drink this water, I only use the one inline filter. I replace it every 30 days. But it is amazing the debris that these things will actually keep out of your water. So I have water that runs two ways. It runs this way. And you can see the pipes right here going underneath the house. Now, as far as the gas system, that is the gas system that provides all the water excuse me, all the gas to the house, which is going to be the cooking area and the hot, we uh, excuse me, hot water heater. That's the only two places that we use the gas here. As far as the cistern, right there's the cistern. That is 1,200 U.S. gallons is what that is. And you can see I have an on-off valve coming out of the cistern. I have a second one. And I have a third one to where when I want to put water out here for the chicks or the dogs, I can just open that up. I can tell you that I learned a valuable lesson. You want to have more than one on-off valve on your water system, especially when you're using cisterns because anything can happen. And as you can see, I got another one up here and I got another one here and another one there. So the water that runs into the bathroom area will run all the way down the house here and then comes up into the back into the shower area plus i put a nozzle out here for water and i'm gonna try and turn this on and see if i can get the water pump over here running for you it doesn't take that long as you can see i got really good water pressure from this system so there's no shortage of water pressure here from this and that's all from the pressure tank right now that's not even from the pump itself putting water back into the pressure tank turn that off nope see the pump didn't even come back on for the pressure tank but i'm going to run the hose here on this other side so I can get that pump to come on to show you guys what the actual pressure tank does. So you can see the pipe I got running here at the bottom of the house. Another on-off on switch comes up here to a faucet. That goes to the washing where I wash the clothes on top of the deck, which is in a tub area. Another on-off switch. Outdoor shower and down to another faucet area. And this is also the back cistern that I use water for. I mainly use this for the animals on the homestead. That's 300 gallons. And this right here, when it's full, I just take this cap off. And I can put this on there and water will come in there. Once again, there's a frog in there. It's another thing I learned here. It's hard to keep frogs out of anything. But this right here is the flush. So when this gets full or when it hasn't rained in a while and I don't want a bunch of debris in here, I open this up. It's getting ready to rain today. So that right there is closed. So I open this up so the majority of the water will run out to that tube away from the foundation. All right, so let me go ahead and turn on the uh, faucet over here. See if I can get the pressure tank running so I can give you an idea of how the pump works, filling up the pressure tank. All right, so I'm just gonna leave the water on for a second. And the pump just came on. You can probably hear it. You can see it here, pushing the pressure back up. But I got the faucet on. So it's gonna fill this up as much as it can. And then it'll click off. Once that pressure gets really, really low in there again, it'll turn back on. But right now, it's just filling up the tank.
Got to fill this tank up. All right, so it's shut back off. You can see it's back down to 30 pounds again. Pressure tank is full. But it's also still water coming out of here. Shut that off. So yeah, that's uh, the water system on the homestead. That's how we produce water. Well, excuse me, not produce. Well, we don't produce the water, but we use the gutters for the cistern for the rain catchment. And that's how we get water to all parts of the house and the property is through the water system, which is a Flowtech three-fourths horsepower water pump, check valves, pressure tank. So just wanted to let you guys see what we use. It's worked fine here for us for the last year. We've had zero problems with it. Plenty of water pressure, more water than we can ask for. Like I said, it works great. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps somebody out. Have a blessed one, everyone.